with the technology we have developed to explore space from camera phones to CAT scans we have improved life on Earth with the perspective we have gained from space we have reminded many many folks and we have been reminded of how precious our Earth really is and how delicate it is and how fragile it is. But while the exploration of space defined the 20th century, I believe that the opportunity of space will define the 21st century. Today, our nation is more active in space than ever before. And there are more ways than ever before that space can benefit humanity. I believe it is incumbent on all of us then to seize all the ways in which space can help us solve our biggest challenges, including that of the climate crisis. The world leaders who gathered at COP26 this week were very clear. They were not ambiguous. They didn't skirt around the issue. They were clear and they were decisive and they were declarative. Climate change is an existential threat and we must take immediate action to address it. As our nation works to meet our climate commitments, we know that our actions cannot be limited to only what we can do on Earth. Right at this minute, we are monitoring emissions and measuring the impact of climate change from space. We have a fleet of satellites and sensors providing citizens and scientists with the data that they, that you need to mitigate the impact and to adapt to the impact. Take Landsat 9 which was assembled, of course, here at Goddard and launched into space last September. As we just saw, Landsat 9 can provide real-time images of our nation's landscape. As natural disasters are increasing in frequency and ferocity due to climate change, these images can be used by first responders to help save lives. These images can be used by farmers to assess their crops as drought and heat threaten their yield. These images can be used by scientists who are working to combat climate change head on.